Hello guys, welcome back. This is Karen from Falcon Studios and I'm here with my FIFA 13 series. And in this episode we have four games lined up for you before and then next episode there'll be a cup final. First thing first though, we're gonna go into squad report and just look at how great everyone's improving at the moment really. There are a few players that aren't improving very well. Agbonna's done a great improvement. Mursaka, even Mursaka's still improving. Marlin's improved considerably. DRB wouldn't have because they much game time, but all of these players are improving considerably, which is something that we've really needed. juru has gone up, and Serge Nabry's gone up four. Look at that, it's amazing. Ramsey doing the same there, going up. Kieran Gibbs, everyone. There's a few players like Arshman, I think, has gone down. Uh, yeah, this is the new guy that I just bought uh, from my scouting system. You might have saw it before in episodes that I was recruiting him, and we finally got him now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Arshman's made a very bad downturn there. And all these players are online, so some of these players are doing really well from online. But, you know, people are bound to improve, and people that get left out aren't going to. So, um, we, our first game that we are playing in this episode is Sunderland. And so, we're just going to go straight into that game now. The kit selections are weird in our away kit, they're in their home. And um, we go into this game with high hopes, I suppose. We, we should really win this game. And just like they're playing it around their back for now, just as you do when you start a match. We start off first highlight here is Podolski gets it from a throw in, takes a shot, blazes it over the bar. Not very good, but oh well. Because all the plays it out to Walcott, Walcott with a nice exchange to Diaby there. Uh, Diaby does get it to Oxlade. Podolski shoots with his right foot and it goes in out of nothing really there. That was a great goal, great finish from Podolski and his weak foot, right in the bottom corner, it nestled right in there. But this looked like nothing's going to happen, they had pretty much all their players behind the ball. And I accidentally skipped this highlight there, I'm sorry about that, but we are 1 0 up against Sunderland already. They go into it, Sessignon plays the ball into Fletcher. Fletcher is a great player, he can pick a pass as well as shoot. Adam Johnson, great player, it's a nice cross in. McLean does take a touch, takes a shot, and Chesney is equal to it. It was quite fortunate, but oh well. Um, start off here now, Podolski plays a nice through ball into Walcott, Walcott plays to Giroud, Giroud first time hits the post, but we did have, it was quite a boring game this one to be honest, there weren't very many highlights, we're into the 80 second minute now, Podolski comes to her own goal, takes a shot, and it is parried away, but um, yeah, nothing really happened in this game, we make a nice interception there, play Podolski through again, this is about the fourth time it's been played through on goal, he's going to cut inside now, take a strike, but it's going to be saved, and nothing comes of that as well, and it does finish 1-0, so it, not bad result, we defended well, got a clean sheet, Ogbonna had a great debut there, and um, we head straight into the, I think this is the FA Cup, I believe, yes, it's the FA Cup, and um, we fielded a very strong side, so um, I'd be surprised if we didn't win this, but, you know, it's the FA Cup, stuff does happen, just take kickoff now, and starts off there with Ipswich, just Playing the ball around. There's a nice ball inside, and then they miss the target all together there. But we are knocking on their door. DRB takes it in to Nabri. Nabri takes a strike. Ambitious, keep playing it away. And this is where the magic happens. They get a nice cross in. Jay Emmanuel Thomas, former Arsenal player, heads it, beats Chesney to the ball, and we are 1 0 down, <laughs> which is quite embarrassing. But Jay Emmanuel, great finish. And we are 1 0 down after 25 minutes. Um, Santi Gazzola gets breaks free there, takes a strike, but it is saved again. It was, that was like a theme of the game. We got through on goal so many times, and the keeper just kept saving everything. Just headed over the bar there from the rebounded cross there. We do make a tackle and have another counter attack here. Santi Gazzola plays a nice ball over the top to Podolski. Podolski can take a strike, but again, saved by the keeper. 40 minutes in there. We do get a corner. We take the corner, and uh, nothing really happens from it. We turn it overhead kick, and just Podolski tries to smack it. Nothing happens, and they look like they're about to play it away, and they take a really heavy touch, and Podolski goes and smacks it in the back of the net for a 16th goal of the season. It was quite a fortunate goal, I must admit. I was very lucky to get it, but, you know, you get that sort of luck in football. They just didn't really see him coming. They just took a really heavy touch, you see here. Just took a really, really heavy touch for no reason. They could have just played it away, I just booted it away, but no, they just let Podolski take it. And we are 1 1 in the game now. So now we're playing the ball around midfield, nothing we're really doing here, but Nabry plays the ball down and Podolski's in the channels. 
Plus he just gets intercepted but then he gets the ball back and then that is our shot. And that was pretty much the best highlight in the second half. And yeah, so we did draw in the end one. It was a pretty dull second half. And so we do have to play a replay. Next game is Arsenal versus Liverpool. They were in their away kit, we are in our home. And this is a game that is quite important because if we don't win this we lose ground on our rivals up at the top. But um, they start off with a great attack. Asaidi plays it to Henderson and he's running down the channels there. And he gets it past his man easily. He gets a cross in and Downing heads it. But shares an easy to it. Asaidi again causing massive trouble there for Arsenal down the left hand side. It's a nice cross in. Barini does take a strike but it's just past the post. Elkso Chamberlain plays a nice through ball there to Dorsey. Dorsey is one on one pretty much with their keeper I think it, I don't know if it's raining still but it does get saved anyway um, SOD gets another cross in we do eventually get it away but Gerard has it straight back in Stuart Downey picks the ball up takes it round the defender and slots it into the bottom corner and we are 1-0 down with the Stuart Downing strike how often would you hear that eh? Stuart Downing scoring it doesn't happen in real life that often but and then we get this Podolski just gets injured very unfortunate Seeming as I was in the transfer window trying to buy another striker, never got round to actually doing it, and now our striker is injured. Look at the options that I had on the bench, I had no idea what to do. So I just put Nabry on, and then put him onto right mid, and put Walker up front, but something I didn't really want to do. Played a nice ball over the top, Juru takes a touch, goes to shoot, and gets hacked down, but nothing was given there, and I was pretty pissed off with that. But half time, 1 0 to Liverpool, and uh, second half, Kazola gets a nice corner, takes it tactically. Giroud heads it and it is one all thanks to a Giroud header. He's been on fire. He has been on fire for me in his career mode right now. He's got a lot of goals and this was perfectly taken there right in the top corner of the goal. And it does make it one apiece at the Emirates. Next highlight, uh, Jovino is taking the ball. Giroud screens his man, takes it round him and then smashes it home from about 8 to 10 yards out. And it does make the scoreline 2-1, 2-1 to Arsenal at the Emirates against Liverpool. That is a very important scoreline because, you never know, if we lost this game, if we lose this game, then it's game over for our season, really. But then Mikel Arteta gets the tackle, plays a nice free ball to Theo Walcott, 80 minutes in, takes a strike, but then Jose Reyna just ca catches the ball out of the air and then we don't really get anything from that. Also Chamberlain plays a nice ball over the top to Juru. Juru strikes the first time. That would have been his hat trick, but I got a bit hasty there and tried to take it first time. We do, however, go on to win 2 1. You probably could have noticed that by my voice because I was saying pretty much giving the result away. Then we got this email through Lucas Plossi suffers broken ankle and will be out for three months. And I just thought, shit. <laughs> Plain and simple. I just, I, I don't know what to do because we don't have any strikers ready and just. Just gone past transfer window. Next game, and this is the final game of the episode, Arsenal versus Aston Villa at the Emirates. We've been playing a lot of games at the Emirates recently because we've had lots of cups which have been uh, rescheduling our games. But then straight into this game and Kieran Gibbs also gets an injury and he cannot continue so we have to reshuffle the defence. It's something that I really don't want to have to do because uh, I, I was resting a bunch of players. You can see the squad there, it's a pretty weakened side. Because everyone was getting tired because we played a lot of games. So I put the Marlin on and straight away Javinho running down the wing there. He does get fouled, but the ball does walk he does walk it out of play essentially. But he does get fouled and he does get a free kick. Aaron Ramsey is lining up the free kick. It's a nice ball in and the Marlin, the substitute who just came on for Kieran Gibbs, smashes that one home. It was a great finish, right in the top corner. The power that produced in that header was phenomenal. Just look at that. Bye. Bye and we go 1-0 up and it got into half time 1-0 actually for a 44 minute strike from the Marlin it was a great bit of football there they play a nice ball over the top, Darren Bent tries to control it his control pretty much just walks out of play Arshavin has the ball, plays a lovely through ball to Jovino Jovino gets the wrong side of his man tries to chip it but then that was the end result probably because he was really off balance another highlight here Oxo Chamberlain, that nice bit of like a little chop there inside takes a shot from about 25 yards out for some reason and um, he gets it saved that was another pretty random highlight there for Aston Villa but they didn't really do anything in the game to threaten 
So I just put some highlights in there for them because otherwise people would be like, you're so one-sided. But then that was another shot by Ashman there, that was pretty poor. They did, however, get through. Darren Bench, poor touch, plays it into Benteke though. Benteke, shot blocked. They cross it in. Everyone misses it first time. Take a shot, hits the bar. We clear it, smacks and rebounds off like three different players. And then I did that. And I thought, oh shit. But then it turns out it was offside. And I was like, oh thank god, my lad. Oh, I was so relieved after that. We did win 1 0. It was a common, common scoreline in this episode, winning 1 0 or just by one goal. Kieran Gibbs was out for nine days with his bruised shoulder. It wasn't as bad as first feared, and I'm quite relieved about that. But I would have preferred for Dalton to be out for nine days and Gibbs to be out for three months. That's all I've got time for today, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.